हेलो हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग कैन यू हियर मी इलेन एंड प्रकाश एम आई ऑडेबल टू यू हेलो गुड इवनिंग इलेन यू कैन हियर मी राइट प्रकाश कैन यू हियर मी तमिल गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू कैन यू हियर मी आम ऑफ गुड ओके यू आर अटेंडिंग द क्लास आफ्टर अ वाइल इज इंट इट आई वॉज जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर द अदर स्टूडेंट्स टू कम कैन वी जस्ट वेट फॉर टू मिनट्स Samu, good evening. Welcome to class. So, how are you? All right. Ban karein. ओके सो नो लेट एस स्टार्ट टू फर्स्ट यू सॉल्व अ वार्म अप एक्सरसाइज इट इज अ सिंपल एक्सरसाइज इट्स अ क्रॉस वर्ड एंड द क्लूज आर गिवन एंड देर इज अ इवन द आंसर्स आर गिवन मींस द पॉसिबल वर्ड्स व्हिच कैन फिट इन दीज क्रॉस वर्ड बॉक्सेस आर आल्सो गिवन सो यू हैव टू जस्ट चूज द राइट वर्ड टू फिल ओके सो वी कैन जस्ट इट्स जस्ट अ वार्म अप एक्सरसाइज so we'll just start with this one two across goals which the organization seeks to achieve often within a given time frame number 2 elaine prakash tamil rashi samu what could be the answer for this goals which the organization seeks to achieve often within a given time frame okay uh, elaine says target what about others Tamil, Samu, Prakash. What do you think? Could be the answer. Target. Okay. Samu, what is your option? Uh, you can't see it now can you see it uh, these are the clues these are the possible answers and they have to fit in this um, this crossword puzzle okay now uh, why can't the answer be mission tamil and elaine why cannot be mission cannot uh, can not be the answer mission elaine tamil what do you think 
इट के नॉट बी मिशन वाई बिकॉज मिशन इज अ लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोस्पेक्टिव इट इज द बेसिक आइडिया विथ विच द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज सेटअप येस इट इज द बेसिक रीजन बिहाइंड द सेटअप ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इट के नॉट बी द आंसर ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज टारगेट ऑल राइट सो आई एम कटिंग दैट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन नंबर फाइव सैमू कैन यू सी नाउ आई एम ऑन नंबर फाइव ट्रेनिंग अंडरटेकन एट दी वर्क प्लेस सो वॉट इज दिस ट्रेनिंग अंडरटेकन एट दी वर्क वर्क प्लेस वॉट इज दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रेनिंग कॉल्ड इलेन सेज ऑन द जॉब सैमू सैमू वॉट्स योर आंसर no no uh, no samu it cannot be training the question is training undertaken at the workplace the training which is given at the workplace itself it is on the job training okay when you learning while working that is the panda now next is overall purpose and direction of an organization so what it could be overall purpose of the organization the words that are left are champions decommissioning development mission strategy and training what will be the answer to this one overall purpose and direction it will be mission yes it will be mission correct okay now the next one is de uh, decontamination and removal of structures from the old nuclear site this is not related to management but still the answer to this one is decommissioning so i'm just removing that now the next one people who enthusiastically i'm on this one now down one down people who enthusiastically support or defend a person belief or cause such people are champion yes okay tamil you are not answering now the third one acquisition of knowledge and skills to carry out specific job or task number 3 3 down position of knowledge elaine says training samu says development it is actually it is training acquisition of knowledge and skills training is related to uh, enhancing your skills so it will be training broadens people's capabilities what broadens people's capabilities the fourth one yes it is development that broadens the capabilities of people their abilities are enhanced through development and training now the last one a plan for achieving the key objective it is a strategy okay yes it's strategy so this finishes this one now there is one more and then we'll go to a case study okay but this is uh, this is a 
This is based on Barclay. You all know Barclay. What is Barclay? It's a financial institution. Okay. So in this case also, we have the um, clues and we have the answers as well, the possible answers. So we have to choose. So the first one, the business and its owner are one and the same. So the individual is liable for the business debt. Now what is this? Cash flow, creditor, entrepreneur, financial, limited company, limited liability, sole trader, venture. These are the answers. Yes, Elaine, Tamil Rasi, Samu, Prakash, I am waiting for the answer. What is the answer to this one? When the business and the owner is the same, there is no difference between the two. And uh, the owner is responsible for the business liability. It is sole trader. Yes, that's correct, it is sole trader. Hmm. Now the next one, a person who has an idea for a business or enterprise and is prepared to take a risk without the certainty that a profit will result. Who is this? Tamil Rasi? Number 5, 5 across. What is the answer to this one? Elaine says entrepreneur. Samu says entrepreneur. Tamil, what is your answer? Are you sure it's entrepreneur? Okay, that's correct. Now the next one. A company whose owners only have to pay part of the money they owe if the company fails financially. What's the answer to that one? Sixth one? Sixth across. Creditor, a company, the answer is a company, creditor is a person. The question is a company whose owners only have to pay part of the money they owe if the company fails financially. Elaine says limited company. The answer is limited company. That's correct Elaine. So this is for Elaine. Okay, it says a company. That's the limited company. It's the setup of a company in which the shareholders are responsible only for the shareholders or owners are responsible only for the their share in the company. Uh, and what is the maximum number of people who can form a limited company? I discussed with you few classes back. What is the maximum and what is the minimum people to form a limited company? Elaine, Sakash, Tamil, Samu, maximum and minimum number of people. Maximum is, minimum is 2. Okay, Tamil, that's correct. The minimum is 2 and the maximum is, Elaine, do you know the answer? The maximum Maximum number of people who can form such a company is? Twenty. Some would twenty, no fifteen. Okay. Now this is done. Next one. The types of services Barclays provide. 
What type of services do Barclays offer? Is it a yes? It's a financial firm. Okay. Now next one is the legal structure through which the shareholders stand to lose only the value of their shareholdings and are not further liable for the company's debt. That is the yes. That's the limited liability company. This is the same as limited company. Okay. Now the next one is uh, someone. Yes, this one. Capital that is subject to considerable risk, often called the risk capital. What is this? The answer is venture. Okay. And Samu, Tamil, all right. Now the next one, the last, second last is someone who has lent money and therefore to whom money is owed. Now what is this? This is simple creditor. Last one, the amount of money that flows in and out of business in a given period of time. Cash flow. Okay. Yes, that's correct. This was a warm up exercise. Now we are done with this. Now we can go to a case study. And this case study will be followed by certain questions which you have to follow, which you have to answer. All right. Yes. So we can just start with this. So this is uh, a case study which tells us about the mode of operations of McDonald's. You all know about McDonald's? Everyone must be aware of McDonald's. It's in a uh, fast food franchisee and what what do they specialize in uh, they specialize in burgers yes they offer a wide variety of burgers uh, yeah french fries are also there but their specialization is burgers so mcdonald's uh, happy meal, yes. E uh, economy, happy meal, that is all something that's very popular among the youngsters, isn't it? So, uh, this is uh, this, this case study on based on the importance of a franchisee. You all understand what is franchisee? No, okay. Uh, franchisee is a type of a uh, business setup in which uh, under the name of a famous brand some other will operate okay like if I take the franchisee of McDonald's then McDonald's are going to uh, lend their name to my firm but I will be the owner of my firm and I will be operating uh, I'll be having owing the equipment which are needed. Suppose if I uh, take up the uh, franchisee of McDonald's, then uh, I need the special uh, equipments to cook uh, to cook the stuff to prepare the stuff. So that all will be owned by me. Rent will be paid by by me. Everything will be done by me, and I'll be taking the profit in the name of McDonald's. Okay, so because. It's not possible for such a big brand to reach every nook and corner of different countries. So what they have done is they have started the trend of franchises. In fact, not only McDonald's, but we have Domino's, we have Pizza Hut, everything. That is all uh, a franchisee only. So let us start with the intro to this. Tamil Nasi, are you there? Yes, KFC is also there.
Okay. So, when the McDonald's brothers, Dick and Mac, opened their first restaurant in 1940 in San Bernardino, California, they could never have imagined the phenomenal growth that their company would enjoy. From extremely modest beginnings, they hit on a winning formula selling a high quality product cheaply and quickly. However, it was not until Ray Crew, a Chicago based salesman with a flair for marketing, became involved that the business really started to grow. He realized that the same successful McDonald's formula could be exploited throughout the United States and beyond. Okay, so they opened just as a normal shop. Uh, like uh, we have uh, eating joints in our locality, so they just opened like that. But the uh, formula which they used, that became more and more popular and it uh, just turned the things around for these two McDonald's. You know what people say, people say this KFC. This KFC is actually something, Some uh, is uh, this was actually an idea of a Sardar from India, KFC. He used certain um, preparation, certain masalas in it and that thing clicked and it became perhaps a very popular brand in the whole world. Okay, so the original formula which, they, which is used is owned by that Sardar family. This is the story which I have heard, I am not very sure about it. So, now what does the key uh, say? It says now there are 29,000 McDonald's restaurants in over 120 countries and they have served over 6, 16 billion customers. Okay. Now, McDonald's global, global sales were over $38 billion, making it by far the largest food service company in the world. So, in 1955, uh, this was opened in 1940 and in 55, Ray Crook realized that the key to success was rapid expansion. So the best way to achieve this was through offering franchises. Now today, over 70% of McDonald's restaurants are run on the basis, on this basis. In U UK, the first franchise restaurant opened in 1986. There are over 1200 restaurants employing 70,000 people of which 30% are operated by franchising uh, at only at very few places in uh, the countries like US and all McDonald's company still operates uh, it by itself otherwise with all other places it has opened up it it has given up its franchisee okay so what is franchising now let us see that so McDonald's is an example of brand franchising McDonald's the franchiser grants the right to sell McDonald's branded goods to someone wishing to set up their own business, the franchisee. The license agreement allows McDonald's to insist on manufacturing or operating methods and the quality of the product. This is an arrangement that can suit both the parties very well. Uh, you have noticed one thing about McDonald's. They, they have a very typical type of bun which they use. The bun which they use is very typical type. Uh, I, in India, it's not available openly in the market, that type of a bun. So, uh, it is something very specific to them. Okay. So, under the McDonald's franchisee, are you all following? Elaine, Tamil, Samu, Sakas. Okay. So under the McDonald's franchisee, McDonald's owns or leases the site and the restaurant building. So it is taken by the McDonald's company on lease. The franchisee buys the fitting, the equipment and the right to operate the franchisee for 20 years. For 20 years the agreement lasts. To ensure uniformity throughout the world, all franchisees must use standardized McDonald's branding, menus, design layouts and administration systems. Okay, so uh, the building and the site is taken on lease by McDonald's and one who is who is willing to take up the franchisee pays for getting the fittings, the equipment 
and the right to operate that franchise and this agreement lasts for 20 years all right now advantages to the franchise In return, the franchisee agrees to operate the restaurant in accordance with McDonald's standards of quality, service, cleanliness and value. So McDonald's regularly checks the quality of the franchisee's output and failure to maintain standards could threaten the license. It has happened at some places in India like the McDonald's restaurant opened but it was shut down after a while. What could be the possible reason for that? Can you just guess? Uh, hygiene. Maybe they are not. They were not following the uh, the standard practices. That may have been the reason. So. Uh, the franchisee is also expected to become involved in local events and charities. So, Ray Crook believes strongly that a business must be prepared to put something back into the community in which it operates. The franchisee for all training and support McDonald offers is running his or her own business. They find the franchise themselves and therefore have much to lose as well as gain. This makes them highly motivated and determined to succeed. You know, if they are getting the license for 20 years, then definitely they must be paying a huge amount of money, something which we even can't think of. So, lot of things are at stake. If the agreement is cancelled, then they are going to lose a big sum. So, they are obviously motivated and determined to succeed. So in this case, the product is recognized all over the world. A large proportion of the new business and new products fail, often due to the cost of research and development needed. The McDonald's formula, however, has been successfully tried and tested. So Ray Cruz insistence that the, all McDonald's outlets sold the same products and achieve the same quality has led to a standardization of the process and great attention to detail. The cooking processes in McDonald's restaurants are broken down into small repetitive tasks enabling the staff to become highly efficient and adapt in all tasks. Okay, is it clear? Any questions? Okay, so you know uh, you must have noticed the uh, McDonald's, the sales person involved at the counter, the people who uh, offer their services at the counter, they are always very young, isn't it? Have you noticed that? So what is the reason behind it? Why experienced people are not involved? So why why uh, why experienced and aged people are not involved? People who have uh, crossed the age of forty or forty five, they have lots of experience in the sales and all. So why are they not involved into uh, this business? Yes, young people are uh, smart. Elaine and Tamil, you are not answering. No idea. Uh, you must have noted noticed the promptness and the quickness with which they serve their customers, isn't it? So that is just a training ground for, for, for them. 
I know many people who have started their career as uh, sales persons in McDonald's, and now they have become sales manager of big big stores. So, like this is something uh, a training for them. And yes, this is also one of the reasons the salary which they offer is very low. It's just as a pocket money. So those who want to learn, they just prefer to go for such a job. So uh, the staff is becoming uh, the staff that they have is very. Um, it it becomes trained with the passage of time. Okay, so. This division of labor and high volume of turnover of a limited menu allows for considerable economies of scale. So, for the franchisee, this can considerably reduce the risk of setting up their own business. There is no need to develop the product or do expensive market research. Nor will they have sleepless nights wondering if the product will appeal to customers. McDonald's carries out regular market carries out regular market research. Okay. So this uh, there is the the work is done at a very large scale. So uh, there uh, the economies of scale comes into operation. So what do you mean by this economies of scale? What is that e economies of scale? You know, economies of scale. What are these? What does that mean? Elaine, Tamil, Samu. You came across a new word, but you never asked what is that? Economies of scale. Okay, economies of scale is. Uh, it's like when a business is operated at a very large scale, then what? Uh, what happens is like if you are using the machine for manufacture of. Ten, uh, ten units. Okay, and then if you are using the same uh, machine for the manufacture of fifty units in the same time, now what is more beneficial for you? If you get the electricity bill of three hundred, then if you are manufacturing ten units, then it means you are getting approximately thirty units per. Uh, 30 units of electricity per unit okay then if you are spending if you are manufacturing 50 units in that same time then how much 6 units 6 rupees per unit i'll explain again uh, if you are using the machine and you are manufacturing just 10 units in one hour So you your cost uh, and your electricity bill comes to three hundred for that hour. So you are your uh, per unit cost is thirty rupees. Now if you are using the same uh, time and the same machine and you are manufacturing fifty units, then what is the cost of one unit electricity? Uh, uh, cost of uh, per unit electricity is six rupees for one unit. So what is better? Ten units or hundred units, fifty units. Hello. Why are you answering? Elaine, Kakash, Tamil Rashi, Samu. Elaine, you are not answering today. Tamil Rasi, you are also not answering. Okay. So uh, economies of scale is, uh, in short, I'll tell you it is something. Um, Tamil, are you there? Okay. So 
uh, uh, I was telling about economies of scale. So economies of scale is one um, uh, you like uh, if you manufacture on a big scale or if you operate on a big scale, then your per unit cost goes down. The cost of operation, like the cost of electricity, the cost of water, and everything, it goes down. So it is better for you, better for the uh, operating unit. So that is economies of scale. So many uh, in in case of this, uh, we have seen that uh, the operations are done on a very big scale. So the economies of scale operate means the per unit cost goes down. That is beneficial for the uh, company. So intense intensive initial training. So what this says is every franchisee has to complete a full time training program lasting about nine months, which they have to find themselves. This training is absolutely essential. It begins with working in a restaurant, wearing the staff uniform, and learning everything from cooking and preparing food to serving customers and cleaning. Okay. Further. Training at regional training centers focuses on areas such as business management, leadership skills, team building and handling customer inquiries. The franchisees will have to recruit, train and motivate their own workforce so that they must learn all the skills of human resource management. During the final period, the trainee learns how about stock control and ordering profit and loss accounts and the legal side of hiring and employing staff. Okay, Samu, that's good. Consequently, no McDonald's franchisee would have to ask a member of his or her staff to do something that they couldn't do themselves. Knowing this can also be a powerful motivator for the staff. So now just look at the training program which is offered by McDonald's uh, training team. In this uh, the training begins from what? Working in the restaurant, wearing the staff uniform and learning everything from cooking and preparing the food to serving the customers and cleaning. Everything you have to do. Okay. And then if you perform well in this, you might just go to the second round of training which is a regional training where the focus is on areas such as business management, leadership skills, team building and handling customer inquiries. Means big issues. That training will be given to you. Then, uh, during the final period of training, the trainee learns about stock control and ordering, profit and loss accounts, and the legal side of hiring and employing staff. Means they become somewhat the uh, decision makers of the uh, of the franchisee, which is operating in the name of McDonald's. This is all very great and appreciable. Okay. So it's not, uh, once you get the uh, opportunity, you should not think that, oh, I have to work as a waiter. No, it's not so. It's written clearly. You start as a waiter, but you are given ample opportunities with the passing time. That's great. So next is, then, continuous support. McDonald's commitment to its franchisee does not end with the training. It recognizes that the success and profitability of McDonald's is inextricably linked to the success of their franchisees. A highly qualified team of professional consultants offer continuous support on everything from human resource to accounting and computers. The field consultant can become a valued business partner and a sound board, sounding board of both for ideas. Okay. The training is over. Then our relationship is over. No, that is not. Uh, one, we can say a committee of a McDonald's continuously keep a watch on the way the franchisee is operating. Okay. Now, what are the benefits from this national marketing? A brand is a name, term, sign, symbol or design which identifies one organization's products from those of its competitors. The phenomenal growth of McDonald's is largely attributed to the creation of its strong brand identity. McDonald's trademark, the golden arc and its brand name has become amongst the most instantly recognized symbol in the world. Yes, you know, we sometimes go to a big 
uh, we can I can say a big mall. There are n number of stores there, maybe 50 stores. So whenever we see M, the symbol of McDonald's, immediately we come to know that McDonald's is around. It is somewhere in this premises. That uh, the that shows the popularity of the brand. In UK, McDonald's recognized the need for a coordinated marketing policy. In order to be successful, an organization must find out what the customer wants, develop products to satisfy them, charge them the right price and make the existence of products known through promotion. You know, uh, are there any breakfast menus for McDonald's in uh, UA, like special breakfast meals? Do they offer any breakfast meals? In India, like uh, in India, especially I'm talking about uh, cities where metro cities where young people are uh, working. Cities like Delhi, uh, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, where, where the uh, which are like metros. Yes, some that's the popularity of McDonald's. So I was telling you about uh, this thing. Now they have uh, introduced new flavors, new variants of burgers. Now there is uh, one egg variant. So that is to cater to the need of the people who are used to having uh, egg in the morning as in the, at the time of breakfast. So it is satisfying their purpose. So this new, the new variant which comes up in the market uh, that depends on the research which has been conducted by the company research cell. Okay, it's not uh, like they'll just start introduce any product that cannot be a success. They produce introduce the product only the product which is going to be success. Okay, so this egg variant has been introduced, keeping in mind the young people who need to go to office. So they'll be coming eating that and then they'll be going to office. So that is one. Um, aspect of that. Then um, obviously advertising is on a very great scale. Radio and press advertisements are used to get the messages and all. That is about marketing. We can just skip this part. Now, uh, what what does the, uh, this McDonald's do? They in 2002 they they sponsored these events so to become more and more popular among the masses. Okay, football, Olympic games, and everything. So all of this increased the awareness to McDonald's brand. So, however, McDonald's still follows Ray Crook community beliefs today, supporting the Tidy Britain Group and the Groundwork Trust as well as local community activities. In some a uh, kind of charity is also done. Now for casting. Another major problem for a new business is predicting how much business it might enjoy. Running the risk of either cash flow problems or the difficulties associated with over trading. The turnover and profit from any outlet will vary depending on the large range of internal and external variables. So each franchisee is expected to take a positive approach to building up sales although an average rate of return of over 20 percent. This is just the data. So this forecasting problem is also sorted by the research team. So you can just read the advantages for the uh, franchiser. What advantages does it offer to the franchiser? You can just read them. Okay. Please read it. All of you.
have you all read i just want to take you to the question so i'm just uh, making making it a little in haste now you can see this dynamic in, in uh, innovation idea they are like for for attracting children they have these packages okay so this is it then we go to the next now next is the suppliers in the chain so as you can just read this this question i am having a glass of water please read it then we'll go to questions Sorry, I had to give some important message. Um, so I was just, uh, in, I was just interacting with somebody on Skype. It was very urgent. Okay, so you have after this, you have the class of um, which, which class you have after this class, students. English. Okay, that class won't be held today. That was the message which I got from the coordinator. Yeah, Ms. Garima's class won't be conducted today. Uh, her net is not working. She is out somewhere. So that class won't be held today. Okay? That was the message I was giving to somebody. Alright? So this is done. Now I will take you to the questions which are there based on this case study. I'll just take you to that page. Now it says, looking at the case study, identify the three areas of McDonald's marketing need. What do you think the answer is? The, what is the market, what uh, is the key to the marketing mix of McDonald's? What do you think? People, uh, price and what did you say? Place. Okay, that's great. People, price and place. Three P's. That could be the three areas, uh, main areas. Now next is, uh, what do you understand by the term economies of scale and how will the economies of scale affect McDonald's? Elaine, Tamil, Samu is now offline. There is some problem with his net.
it could be promotion people uh, it could be promotion promotion policy you mean okay now what do you what is this uh, what do you understand by the economies of scale tamil rasi what is economies of scale what does that mean Economies of scale are when the uh, when the company operates on a very huge scale, so uh, it gets benefits in per unit costing. So that is economies of scale. So what? Uh, how will it affect McDonald's? What will happen? Obviously, the profit of the company will go up if it is having economies of scale. The costs are low. The revenue will be high. Okay. Now, why does McDonald's invest in sponsorship? Why do you think it invests in sponsorship, Sponsor, sponsoring the World uh, World Cup football, FIFA World Cup, cricket World Cup, hockey World Cup, different tournaments that goes on? What is the reason behind that? Elaine, Tamil, and Samu, what is the reason behind that? it cares for social causes sponsorship provides branding to the company yes and uh, it becomes very easy for it to uh, it to be noted by the people okay it becomes easy it becomes like uh, more popular among the masses samu is that fine now okay so it is it is becoming more and more popular through these means we can say these are all sales gimmicks of the mcdonald's company sales strategies now next one the last one why do you think over 70% of the new business fail but 90% of the franchisees succeed why the new business setup fail but franchisees 90% of them succeed why does that happen tamil i'm expecting an answer from you Yes, Samu, Tamil, Elaine is typing his answer. I'm expecting from you also. franchises don't have to grow the brand they just have to make a set investment yes elaine that's correct and uh, why do new businesses fail because they have to do research work and they have to find out uh, yes sami that's correct a franchise provides established brand recognized brand yes that's the correct answer So, what is the advantage and disadvantage of being a franchisee? The answer is more and more or less the same. The advantage is that uh, you are already a known name amongst the people 
we just have to think about maintaining the quality standard and meeting the expectation isn't it now what is the disadvantage of being a franchisee disadvantage can you just tell me disadvantage you cannot do business in the own idea yes you have a lot of pressure on your uh, hands you have to meet the expectations of the people so that is a big disadvantage you are dependent on the franchisor you have you will be governed by their terms and conditions you cannot use your own creativity in the business and you have to invest huge sums of money that is also there okay so with this we will wind up the class thanks for your time everybody um, please give the feedback after the class and uh, uh, franchise is not completely independent they are required to operate their business according to the uh, not yet Elaine this week I will be uploading some assignments you can solve them from there ok alright Elaine so we meet in the next class next class my next class is tomorrow uh, but that is for MBA uh, MBA class at uh, 8 o'clock your timing so hope to see you all in the next class whenever it is see you all take care enjoy your weekend sorry no, no weekend for you enjoy your week ahead that is what I would say ok then bye uh, next class, my next class is tomorrow. Your next class will be, I think, uh, BBA class will be on uh, Thursday. Okay, Tamil, it will be on Thursday. MBA class tomorrow. See you all. Please fill the feedback form which you will get at the end of the class. Thanks for your time. Have a sound sleep and take good care of yourself. Bye.